It's about to get remote controlled or plex. O. M. G. Remote controller plex is a theory of immortality or death transcendence, at least. It is where you have a remote controller that remotes controls a remote controller, and you are actually behind one of the remote controllers remote controlling it. And then it is remote controlling a remote controller that remote controls a remote controller that remote controls a remote controller, and so on and so forth until eventually that remote controller is remote controlling something that resembles you. This is a very important thing in the world today that they are different. They, they should be exponentially more upper dimensional relative perceived to your dimensional awareness meaning that the technology should be harder to unlock each and every single phase now this is something that we would do in real life in order to counter terrorism for example and protect our souls from imminent deletion from like the satan devils or whatever you want to call it people that are at war with your version of immortality and your version of law and reasoning within the universe the thing is is um between each and every single one of these controllers you are sitting here remote controlling from your state of origin all right and Every single one of them is the same. All right. So in between every single one of them is the same exact thing. All right. You. Okay. And the reason you do this is because somebody's looking for you. Somebody wants to find you. Somebody wants to get your vectors from the uh, decoherent patterns in the universe because one thing that a lot of people don't understand is if you watch one of my videos, if you truly believe in vector dilemma, which you probably should because it's a law, it means there's more microdosal vectors inside of every single vector, which is, duh, <laughs> that's what a fraction is. There's infinitely smaller fractions forever, no matter what, you know, like it's, it's not for debate. It's, that's just the way it is, you know. The whole idea of vector dilemma is that the particle can skim any single fractional vector, right? You just have to, you know, set up your vector cant or your uh, particle cannon to aim, you know, fractionally to the left. And, you know, th there's people that are like, oh, but you can't do that eventually. You have, like, terminal accuracy. And it's like, um, no, you're wrong. All right, I don't believe in terminal accuracy. That That's like a fallacy. You just move back. You move back a little bit, and then the fractional vector changes. Every single time you move back, it changes. Because that vector that it scrapes by that you were trying to, you know, precisely carve is going to change that, that fi smallest finite amount, and there's infinite vector re re restored away from terminal vector Right, so terminal vector never exists. Terminal smallest vector is never an existing thing. It's a law of science, infinite vector dilemma. So basically, time is what counters infinite vector dilemma. So the longer you're in the universe, the more decoherent patterns you put into the universe, meaning your, your vector dilemma is actually countered over time. Now, that doesn't necessarily matter because you can actually be alternating higher kinetic form, meaning you can gain more kinetic energy, be more free will, be more vector dilemma confusing relative to the super villain bad guy, you know, over here that's like, I want your soul, you know, like the super villain bad guy that wants your decoherent patterns and he wants to get your position you actually can't necessarily because your kinetic formula can be going up in kinetic energy and going up in um, vector dilemma encryption because basically you can sense this eventually one day 
with higher uh, kinetic energy and more, you know, more time in existence, thus giving you the ability to alternate your vectors in sequence here, allowing, this is assumably where you are remote controlling with them, right? And assumably, they're behind a remote controller plex as well, right? And so on, right? So if they are trying to extrapolate you, you can actually reverse extrapolate them. By understanding the level of dispolation they have on the different dimensions of the controller, we can literally just point directly to like let's say we're up against a, a supreme upper dimensionalist lower dimensional force right and these dim these words aren't necessarily different places this is dimension mean upper dimensional means more technologically advanced lower dimensional means less technologically advanced it's the same universe it's the same place it just it's not they're just not here yet where you are where you're protected from right so somebody that's lower dimensional can be right here they can figure out all of this and then when they're like oh i got your soul look i got your soul you just go no you didn't get this controller here i pointed to this many 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 times um you don't have this controller right here and this is a controller plex with like a god's army and literally you're not even here right now you're literally like way over here remote controlling through a remote controller plex like this in the first place and you're just like pointing to your one remote controller you know plex that you know that they didn't extrapolate and they've never extrapolated it and they're never going to extrapolate it and you're just like hey this remote controller plex this remote controller plex um you you still haven't extrapolated this remote controller plex and really they're kind of lower dimensionally extrapolated in a way like where they're solving problems in here and you haven't even filled this area out because of infinity, right? And this is like even God has slaves in a way. Is if your source is omni aware of the bean, right? The bean sometimes can, can be created, or you can create a bean that creates beans and that ends up creating a bean, right? And it can all be omni present of that being right it can only be up to quantum entanglement too like maximum quantum entanglement is the fastest up updating speed so a being that literally resides out of this would be somebody that lives in the lowest or the fastest root speed clock speed of the universe that you have extrapolated in your quantum entanglement network right and if they're in another quantum entanglement network and they're in a gray space, right? You're now like in multiplayer reality, right? More of like what we are in right now. Kind of like bosons and quantum bits. A lot of you might not have figured that out. So I'm going to keep that on the low. I guess. Illuminati. I don't know. Shout out. For the most part, um, that means I'm going to expose something that that shout out right there it means i'm gonna say like certain bits in the universe are like other lords they have completely non-parallel functioning bits of matter that which emanate light in their their desirable ways and they use quantum entanglement networks like the sun as the sun instead like the sun and the stars for them is different for, for them, they use their versions of suns and stars. And for them, they use their versions of quantum bits. And they can be able to, you know, project off to their clients in a different non-parallel way. So you can be able to go through multiple different rule formulas of the universe and be able to, like, find the desires in which you're trying to desire. I know this is a bunch of mess. There's a whole big drawing here. But I really wanted to explain remote controller plex. And it's it's a big deal right now because a lot of people are like trying to like falsify like dimensional positioning and prowess 
in the universe today and then you're like then you point at your remote controller plex and you're like you didn't even break this remote controller plex this is literally my first this is like my first line of defense for you and you've never broken it and that's happening a lot especially in like um state and army for those of you that follow closely to like uh sadists and just like dark army like terrorist evil people um maybe not necessarily truly satan like the angel satan that went bad or whatever the story is i'm talking about dark army evil like the people that are truly evil that really are evil right now on earth in the world today that are alive right now that we have to deal with on earth the evil that is present that we have um if you follow them akashically or astrally or however you want to talk about it um one of the biggest things is like we have a remote controller plex like parked right next to them and we're like we're not going anywhere this is our land like get off our land get off our lawn you have to extrapolate that remote controller plex and then literally what the funniest thing is like they already surrendered like they look at that remote controller plex and they surrender because their code is like we're not supposed to cross this line because otherwise we get punished right and but, so they never cross it right and the ones that do get exiled and punished and then they come back because they learned their lesson right and if they ever do break the, the remote controller plex the, like the first line of defense that we're literally showing them right we just move another remote controller plex in the exact same place that's just as hard if not harder with more kinetic energy so it's like we, we're watching you fail to break our remote controller plex that we're parking right right on top of you and that's real life. You know, that's Archangel Matthew. That's me. You know, like I'm I'm telling you that right now firsthand. Like we we are that powerful in like the angel world where we can literally just park on top of an evil base and just take it. And be, you know, there's nowhere in the universe where evil is allowed to own land in operation. Like in fact, your life in 4D root theorem is actually taking away from all other beings lives just by living. You know, there's no perpetual motion machine, meaning you're, you're, you eat, you sleep, you drink, you, you do all these things, you live, you emanate heat, you, you move things, moving things, moving forward, moving around, actually it contributes to heat death of the universe in 4D root theorem. And you actually, if you move, you kill people. So there's nowhere in the universe in which you're allowed to not only live to kill people, but also live to kill people and diminish their quality of life support. So there's actually nowhere in the whole universe that the most powerful beings were like, let's attribute this zone over here to evil. That's not how it worked. This, this theory never happened. Nobody ever gave you any land for evil that's not that's not a real thing there's no islands you can go to and be evil there's no countries you get to go to and be evil there's nowhere in the universe you get to go and be evil okay that's not a real thing that's a fantasy of some people that are evil or have done super atrocious evils and they can't get out of it they're stuck in it they, they're re-washing it over and over and over trying to reaffirm it they're trying to find more people that are like it to like get in this sector where they believe that it's theirs and it's like no dude you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna come there we're gonna bring our remote controller plex we're gonna park it right there right and we're just gonna go we are all up in your shit even though this is our space this is our universe you're contributing to heat death you're basically killing us it's a blessing that you're even alive and we're gonna be all up in here this is our world our earth our universe we're gonna exist right here where you're existing crack our remote controller plex and we'll just put another one there omgbomber.com